Ho there, travelers! Well met! Welcome back to Sorcerer Fed. I am the Game Master, Joel. Ooh. Uh, and uh, this is our merry band of adventurers. Um, and before we get into this episode, uh, which is episode two, um, uh, let's just do a quick recap of what happened last week um, here uh, on the show. So these are the Wardens of, of Iridel. Um, uh, Gerd. Spreak it! Slorm, the Inquisitor. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were summoned to the capital of Iridel, Garrett's Rest, uh, by King Havelrand to put down a, basically a spy ring in the, in the sewers. And it was super easy to defeat uh, Chud Lord Scumulon. Um, and they retrieved a scepter and brought it back out to the king's advisor, Galgan Moonseer, um, who immediately revealed himself to be basically manipulating the king. Uh, and these guys were taken prisoner, unfortunately, uh, stripped of all of their powers, made into slaves, chained to a galley, and sent off to the prison island of Orcatraz to live out the rest of their lives. Orcatraz! <laughs> <laughs> um, That's the worst prison in Iridale. Yeah. It's like the Rikers of Iridale. I guess people go and visit there, though, weirdly. Uh, yeah. People can uh, take a boat and go visit it. You <laughs> wish it were like the Rikers. Rikers, you can see the mainland. This is at least three days rowing from shore. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so you are going to be... Oh, all of your items of power are gone. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to be super duper... Uh, in prison Ooh. on Orcatraz. Mega prison. Uh, mm. So, should we get into it? Yes. 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 All right, cool. Um, so, the three of you arrive on Orcatraz in chains, uh, stripped of your titles and lands and positions and weapons. You have nothing. You have no wine. You have no spice. It, it's been three days of rowing. You're exhausted. Your I mean, backs, we have our looks. Yeah. Your pretty We're face. We're still cute, yeah. though. <laughs> um, your backs are bleeding from whips. Um, That's not so good. And your hands are calloused from weeks of rowing in the slave galley. You're emaciated. Look at his hands; and weak. they're in a terrible shape. <laughs> you're, you're, yeah. You're as a as a rip, as a reptilian. Like you haven't had a lot of water, so mm. your skin is like shrinking, dry, yeah, peeling. Yeah, you're super gross. Cool. Dwarves aren't really big on water, so I'm probably a little seasick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How you doing? Um, I just am bummed about my manicure. Yeah. But other than that, pretty chipper. How do you feel about the fact that you're further and further away with every passing stroke from finding your ex-boyfriend, Mike? I think that Mike is where we're headed right now. And I think that you, he's going to save us. I mean, she to be fair, you say that. And then yeah. say, yeah. it, I'm sorry <laughs> that you cheated on me. Please take me back. Uh, that's uh, the power of positive thinking. Uh, <laughs> may I tell you? Uh, super cute, though. Um, so at you, you on the horizon, you spot a lone rock uh, in the surrounding water of everything. Um, as you get closer, uh, you see that it's a craggy outcropping. Uh, very little vegetation grows, um, and there is like a couple of stark towers um, built into uh, the islands. Basically, a huge jail. Um, a group of brutish, half-giant prison guards yank you off the ship and escort you to your new home for life. Um, the head warden is a powerful elven mage named Warden Elvish. <gasps> cool, I'm an yeah. elf too. Hi! <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, hi, hi. I'm also an elf. Do yes. I know him from the Magical College? Uh, you were rivals at the Magical College. He hated you because you were the king's friend. Ooh. And he just assumed that everything that you got at the elven, at the Magic College was because you're a king's <gasps> friend. Dang. Is that true? Um, well... If anything, I'm in the best boat here. I don't know anybody. Um, here. I think that he's gonna like me best because I'm also an elf, and we got that like elf thing. You know, only he knows. Only elves know. He looks at you, and he's—it's uh, a little. It makes you uncomfortable the way he looks at you. Oh, yeah. Gross. Dang yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> You're close. Uh, I, mean, I don't really oh, want to get into it I'm with him, but this. I just feel like he could really tried harder. If all he could aspire to do was run this shithole. I mean, I'm trying to be headmaster here. You should tell him that. I'm gonna tell him that. I think he'll appreciate Please that. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, you stumble off the boats, uh, and as and you're like roughly sort of shoved into a line in front of Warden Elvish, and he gives you the rundown. Welcome to your new home. He's like, he's not like an elf like you've known. Like he's not oh. like, oh well, he's been out in the island for a long time. Oh, he's a beach elf. Oh, he's a really, he's an <laughs> asshole elf. Uh, welcome uh. to your new homes for the rest of your lives. 
This is the most secure, most isolated, most impenetrable prison island in all of Iridale. Oh, did I say Iridale? My mistake. You're not in Iridale anymore. Whoa. You're off the map. There is no escape. Whoa. The nearest port is three days away, and it's in Orc country. Here you'll find the hardest, toughest, meanest criminals in the known world. Your accent is interesting. Yeah, well, you sound like a cowboy. Oh, <laughs> would you pick that? Up? He's been, it's, it's an island. Uh, it's an yeah, island, yeah. island accent. accent. <laughs> He's in the south. <laughs> Have you ever met an orc? Orcs will eat your face for fun. Mm -hmm. um, and with that, he basically like slaps you, like in one swipe, slaps you off. Oh. Um, and he points and the guards uh, bustle you off to uh, adjoining cells. There's like, I mean, they're prison cells. They're the can spray I, can of I, Can tea. I roll to give him a stink eye that he's gonna think about for weeks oh, on end? for sure you can. <laughs> 15. Wow. 15. Mm. You give him like, That's he good. notices the stink eye and he, and he says to himself, half rations. Ooh. Ooh. Can I give Cam Bloom a kiss? Yes, you can. Okay, I got a three. <laughs> you spit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, so with a three, what is what is your, what is your uh, what does it look like? <laughs> she might need medical attention. <laughs> he gives you like just one of these. He's like, are you sure you're elf? <laughs> and then Lizard Boy comes in with a tail whip, or a, a, a tongue whip. Yeah, you just like, and, and he's like, watch that tongue boy. Uh, Orcs will like that bad thing a lot. That bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> uh, so you're in adjoining cells. Uh, it's like, there's like, tr you're all separate, but there's like a trickle of water that runs down the walls. Uh, Every so often, a big is it clean water at least? It's pretty clean water. Hey, yeah, you know, silver lining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, every so often, though, sea spray like hits like the the tiny little window that's up there, and like gross, you know, not gross, but just like seawater comes in as well, and it mixes in. So like the walls are a little salty. Uh, mm -hmm. There's like a little bit of moss and slime growing. Um, but all in all, like it's prison. It's prison. There's a, a pile of hay in each of your little rooms and like a little blanket and um, you're in prison now. Oh, cool. Not so bad. The yeah. end. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, do we do? Hey, Are we in the guys, same room? Should we no, you're in adjoining cells. cells. Guys, should we try to bust out of this fucking joint well, right now? Well, no, duh. Hell yeah, let's do <laughs> it. We should. Let's uh, get the guard's attention, take him hostage, and then have him get us to a boat that we can take to the mainland. Great idea. I got a no tail. I can whip him with my hair. What can you do? Why don't you just use your hair to like open the bars? Give me some kind of magical artifact that will amplify my abilities and I'll get us out of here. We'll get okay. to the weapons armory. Can I try can I try Slurm's idea first and try to wiggle it with my hair? Wiggle what the with your lock. Oh, oh, you, yeah, use it to pick, pick the, the lock. lock. Yeah. Oh cool. And then like Yeah. Make it into the shape of a key. Yeah. Put the end of it, and then. Don't we'll forget, you all still smell like around. you still smell like poo from still? the sewers. Still, we've and been on the boat for three days. Yes, yeah, and so like you've got rivulets of sweat that have like a little bit of it is off, and it's like it's definitely crusted and caked, so some of it's like flaked off. Blood, but, sewer smell, yeah. and fish. Yeah, it's super. I feel wow. like we've come back around in full circle and let's overpower good again. the guards with our smell. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right, so you, you lick your hair, hair, yeah, and you try to pick the lock with your hair. 20! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Damn! Oh my god! Uh, all right, does that, she just unlock all she, of them? You basically have like a skeleton key that opens every lock <laughs> in this joint. So what happens is, you don't pick the lock with your hair. Mm. But what happens is, you as an elf, like you're so in tune with the physical world and the ethereal magics of the world and like uh, how things how things work that your hair goes in, like it grows into mm. the correct like little latches in the lock, and it grows into the shape of, the, it doesn't pick the lock, it just grows into the perfect shape of the key. Naturally. Um, and then you hear it, it's a pretty secure lock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then one big click, and then. Cool. Just hers? I mean, she's got a 20. You're all in one cell. Oh, we're all in one cell. No, no, I'm sorry, no, no. It's you're all in individual cells. You're in mm. adjoining cells. Okay. So just me? I'm just Yeah, out? so, yeah, so you, all right. you peek out and it's, I mean, it's a prison hallway. It's like lined with your two buds next to you, but there's also so. like, 
There's also orcs, like dangerous fucking criminal orcs lined up and down the entire thing. And they heard that open. And they're just like, new meat, fresh meat. <laughs> and you I'm, hear, you hear I'm one guy who's like, help, meat. help, help. And everyone is like, Rawr, like ah, I can't wait till mess tomorrow. Oh, showers, we're going to get you. Uh, there's, showers? There's like a lot of like clanging on the bars and it's prison. Is this uh, a co-ed prison? <laughs> yes. Well, Yikes. I think mm -hmm. you're, you might be the only, ed. but you did notice the some only, of the. I'm the only criminal lady. You're the only criminal lady, but you did notice some half giants or, or girls, um, oh. like they're like a half giant girl. There are some, there are some ladies who are on the staff basically. Hmm. Yeah. So do I need to get the key or should I try to something else? Yeah, does the key, do does guys, the key work on the other locks? Are we? For a 20, right? Yeah. yeah. She rolled yeah. a twenty. Can no, she no, try her? It doesn't like it doesn't turn into a key. Uh, it's right. her hair, and it just grew into the shape in that lock. All right. Well, fuck it. I'm just gonna turn uh, ethereal and walk through the bars. Uh, okay. He's got magic. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it. you can do that. What do you think? That's my that's my special ability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can. Well, you, your mass density. changes. You don't turn ethereal. Oh, your yeah. mass changes. Okay. Okay. Hey. Can you change into a gas? Yeah, yeah. Like I become like so my density become my subatomic particles move so far apart that I'm able to just walk right through the bars. Yeah. Or okay. you become so you have so much mass that you can actually bend the bars. Bend the bars. Oh. That would probably be more useful. Yeah, yeah. You give me some tips here. Uh -huh. uh, how strong are the bars though? Um, they were built super. Super strong, um, and they're also warded against actual magic. Magic. Mm -hmm. So, like, if like there's a ma like you could put a mage, like an orc shaman or something, in here. Uh, but it was also built, you know, many decades to centuries ago. So, like, the bars have seen some time. All right. So, what do you think I should do? Uh, uh, Gord, should I, should I just bash through the wall and then crash through the the uh, no. bars with you, Don't. so we can all three be out? Or is that too noisy? That's too noisy. I think we should You're just gonna, be, you should yeah. be ethereal. We should be and, sneaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then don't get the guards to come over here. Mm. Can I pass through the bars, ethereal, or are they warded against that type of magic? Um, since you're not like casting magic spells on the bars, I think this will work. Uh, okay. ro roll a d20. Let me just let me just do a quick little an eight. eight. Oof. <sighs> you get stuck halfway through. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, so you are. You're able to get through, like you're able to get through. It doesn't feel really good, and in fact, you suffer like a point of damage because like, it doesn't feel very good. And immediately, once you get through, like your body recoalesces. Okay. Yeah. So I don't get to stay ethereal. Right. Damn. Okay. Well, but, you're, but you're out. Yeah, we're both out. Okay. What are you gonna do, Gord? Sharp ass tail, gonna cut through the bars. Hell. Ready? Your tail's already this sharp. And it's pretty it's sharp pretty right old. now. I mean, it's been years as a warden. It's All right, pretty let's sharp. Let's see if this works. See if this works. Not gonna say no. It's a five. It's not gonna work. Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm gonna you, just bang it against the. You bang it against and <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> you're, you're like shit. <laughs> yeah. You guys had great escapes. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, anybody want to give a old pal the lizard uh, gourd the hand to get out? Uh, so let me let me let me ask you this. Do you think we might be able to find a bad boy walking around with some keys to this joint? Yeah, let's try to get him. Right. Yeah. I can just tie him up real good with my hair. What can you do? <laughs> Magic stuff? Yeah. Cool. I don't know. I need a weapon, man. Can I roll a perception check to see if there's a, a bad boy nearby? Yeah, yeah. With some keys? Go for okay. it. I'm chilling. I'm going to sit down like hot. 17. <laughs> 17. You sense, like, I mean, you can hear guards walking around, like, uh, generally in groups of two or three. Um, one of them is pacing nervously back and forth. The, it sounds like the level immediately above you. Or maybe it might not be above you; it might be like around a corner or something. But you can hear one pacing nervously back and forth and uh, whispering back and forth with the prisoner. Ooh! Let me take out that guy. Is think? there something about that prisoner that we should look into? I was thinking about a, a bad boy prison guard, not a prisoner. One with keys. Well, that's I mean, what I was trying to perceive. Maybe they got. Maybe there's like a secret thing going on. Maybe they have like some kind of like, like a rave? sneak up on them. Not like a right. no. Uh -huh. I'm talking about like maybe there's like a like a secret like underground of like people that kind of have like a handshake wink wink kind of thing with the guards oh. and come and go as they please. Maybe they got some spice. Let's go find the spice. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, by the way, it's been three days and you're getting. I'm sorry, I forgot to say it's been three days and you're getting super. You're antsy. telling me. Uh, mm. Man, and that's maybe why you rolled so poorly, and you haven't had alcohol, so you're becoming more. Dicket is coming out a little bit. Ooh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's let's just true. go. Let's so, go. Let's go find out what's up with this bad boy, this like squealy Dan up there. Mm. I'll 
be here. All right. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Yeah, we'll come let's back go find Squilly Dan. Okay. So you uh, you decide that I mean you you go the it's like you're in basically like a big drum tower, and so it's sort of like sort of circular. It's like a circular row of like tons and tons and tons of cells, and you go around the corner, and what you thought was upstairs, it turns out was just around the corner. It was a trick of the echoes, and you see. Um, one of these female, these sort of burly female guards whispering into a cell. Uh, you know, you can't hear what's being said because also the orcs around, all the orcs in the cells around them are just screaming, traitor, asshole, fuck you, you're terrible. Like, ah, oh, boo, you're the, you're the most dangerous person, you know, you're the most dangerous orc uh, that's ever yeah, lived. Yeah. And that's, that's sort of the, uh, the scene that you come across here. Mm. Okay, well, do you think that we should, maybe I can hear, maybe I can put my hair into a hole and hear real good? Like a little cone? Like like a cone. cone. I mean, <laughs> we can hear him, we're standing yeah. right there. Why don't we can talk to this orc lady guard? Okay. No, the lady guard's not an orc, it's a, it's a, it's just a burly human. Oh, okay. Okay. The guards are all humans and half giants and the orcs are all the prisoners. Oh, so everyone's talking shit to a particular orc? Yeah. Oh. And that's who she's whispering that's to? That's who she's whispering to. Mm. Oh. That is interesting from my cell. Can I try? You don't know that. They know no, that. Yeah, la, is, la, la, let's, la, just, la. let's just walk, up, just to, let's just walk up to these two and see what's up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, so we're just like kind of walking around outside of our cell, just wondering what's up. As you walk in front of each of the subsequent cells, the orcs fall silent because they've never seen, they've never, first of all, they have never seen a dwarf here before. And the only elf they've ever seen is Warden Elvish um, walking around. And um, so, as like that sort of traveling wave of silence gets closer, the uh, the guard turns around and looks at you, and she pulls out her sword, um, and she's about to charge. When out of the cell she was talking to, she hears you hear, "No, wait, stop!" Uh, and she she halt she halts for a second. Um, so uh, let's see, where are we? Um, the orcs are all screaming at you at this point. Now, now that there's like silence, all of a sudden, tumultuously, all the other orcs start screaming at you. Whoa, everybody calm down. We might be able to work something out that and gets you assholes out of your prison cell. You yeah, hear... we're gonna free everybody in here. All the well, orcs I didn't are screaming saying that, but let's not just go screaming and causing a lot of attention, okay? Unnatural, abomination, oh my God, traitor. These fucking orcs. Whoa, oh, racist. racist. Down a notch. Yeah, hey, that kind of talk is not okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Mm. Uh, Yes. Who's that you're talking to in there? I'm. And he's like, and and you hear, my, from inside the cell. And it doesn't sound like an orc. My, my name is Snoo Snoo the Orc. <laughs> <laughs> um, and 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 the woman's like, just a minute. Like she's pretty butch and burly. And he's like, no, 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 uh, no, Hellicent. Hellicent. We, we must enlist the aid of others. Uh. And she she turns around and gives you like the real shifty eye. And he says, friends, come come gather around. And so you, you peek in and inside, like all the hate that's been directed towards this orc and everyone's saying that he's unnatural and an abomination is just like, he's a pretty frail looking orc. He looks almost like he's like the runt of the litter. Um, and he, he talks to you. He says, oh, my name is, is Snoo Snoo the orc. Um, I, I'm, I'm desperate to escape. I was sent here on trumped up charges from my village. I, I've never been meant to be here. I have our entire escape plan and, and we were meant to go tonight, me and, and, and Hellicent. This is, this is Hellicent Tough Gal. And she like, <laughs> she looks at you and like sort of sizes you up. Um, and we, we're in love. <gasps> and a cascade of screaming from the other orcs. Oh my god. Wow, They're orcs prejudiced. don't do like interracial dating? No. Mm -hmm. no, they do not. Wow. Oh, I thought that they were lesbians too. No, no a Snoo boy. Snoo's a man. Snoo's mm -hmm. a boy. Okay, yeah. got it, got it, got um, it, got it, got it. Hellicent is she's a warden here and we fell we fell in love and She's the mother of my child. We're having a half orc, and and the other orcs hate that. Ooh. And we uh, must leave, or else like I'll get torn you apart. You guys really listen. need to shut this up about this. If I can Snoo Snoo hear any of it. Snoo Snoo, Snoo, listen. I too was in love once. I had my heart broken, and I won't let that happen to you guys. I feel an immediate bond. Uh, you have a with negative one guys. to charisma because of your shit smell, but roll roll that die. <sighs> One! <laughs> <laughs> Hellicent whips you across with a slap. Oh! Ooh, and you, 
suffer. You suffer. Like she's a pretty. She's hell and tough gal. You suffer two damage. Ah, oh, damn. Um, Wait, do I hear her? You uh, hear getting yeah, you, hurt because it's been like so like up and down voices and quietness. So you can hear most of the conversation. From, from okay, the can I now. try to get out again? Yeah, sure. You try. Yeah. To get out. Eleven. Eleven. Um, you like. You know how like when you cut through a barb and it like bends a little bit, but you don't like the bar doesn't just cut like it's just like bent. Mm-hmm. So like you cut through a bar mm-hmm. and it's bent, um, and there's like a, a world where you could maybe get through eventually, but not quite yet. Ah, God damn it! Um, it's cool. I got this. Mm-hmm. Okay. I am going to grab Hellicent in a chokehold oh, and threaten to snap her neck if everyone doesn't calm the fuck down and oh open my God. this. Okay. That's Sorry. a risky no. move. He's I a love little it. antsy. It's a thirteen. <laughs> you grab her. Um, you put her in a chokehold, uh, and I say. say if everyone doesn't calm the fuck down, I'm gonna snap her neck. Susu says, "No, no, no, no fucking no, around. No, I haven't no, no, had no. spice in three fucking days, it's cool. man. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. She's carrying my child. Please put the mother of my child down." Yeah, so well, tell her to people. put the key we in will, the fucking lock. We will help you escape. You take the keys. I take her keys. You take her keys. We will help you. We will help you escape. Stop threatening us. We will help you get out of here. Too late, bitch. You shouldn't have hit me. Hey, um, guys, <laughs> I can't really. I'm getting every other word, but it seems like you're making it a lot worse. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go face. if you promise to be chill. And she like, she's like, oh, fucking let me go. Also, you have to promise to give me some spice. We don't have spice here. You're gonna have. Well, to you're gonna it have out. to figure that one out. All right, let me down. All right, hey, go let him out of his cage, would All you? Right. So I got the keys. I'm gonna let Gerd out of his cell Thank so he you. can come and help us. Mm-hmm. Uh, got us into a little bit of a pickle here, friend. What's going on? <laughs> uh, just uh, there's a guard. She's not too happy with us, but listen, she's in love. I think that we can help her. Well, and I think they can help us. Uh, They've got an escape plan. Oh, great. We would like to use that. Are um, any of these orcs like good guys, or are they all? Oh no, genuine they're all bad like boys? genuine like. Uh, Genuine wolf boys. riding, head boiling, asshole <gasps> orcs. They don't really practice rehabilitative practices in this here prison, do they? There's no, no work program, work release program. No. Uh, Who makes the have... license plates for all the wagons? <laughs> why, don't they, why don't they be nice to us since we got the dang keys now? Yeah. And they, we're trying to help them escape. They're trying to help us escape. Yeah, like something it, bad would Do you happen. have the keys? I have the keys. I unlocked them. He let me out. What she let you? me out. I don't know if we should. They seem like pretty unreasonable. I say we unlock them. Wait, you, well, now so you're acting crazy. Wait, <laughs> yeah. is showing her charm. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's get a. I mean, it would make a really sweet diversion, and they would probably kill the guy who runs this place, who, as we all know, is a huge dickhole. I but unlock first, one cage. For, wait, oh my no, before God, you do that, it. wait, can we just hear the escape plan? Yeah. Let's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> she unlocks. I the unlock cage. one cage. Uh, you unlock right. a cage, and it's a wizened old orc, who now that he's free from the magical constraints of. The the bars uh, transforms into a wolf. He's a orc <gasps> shaman and Jesus Christ. bounds the fuck away, howling. Uh, and you hear him like, vroom, 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 like up up the stairs. Uh, to arms, to arms, prisoner free. Goodbye, uh, bye, goodbye. And I knew these all... orcs had no chill. <laughs> <laughs> half of them go running Damn after it. him, and the other half you hear coming around down the stairs to see how the fuck he get out of his prison. Well, let's go ahead and go in the other direction, though. What do you think? Hellicent says, oh my god, you fucking bitch. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think you and Hellicent are going to be friends. I don't think... What's the escape plan? We gotta use it, like, now. Uh, Hellicent, help us get a boat, all right? You dang Hellicent Hellicent is like, come with me, you idiots. (laughs) We're getting out of here. I'm not sure why. Snusu seems to trust you. He's like, of course I do. Look at them. They're heroes or something. Yeah, everybody's yeah. heard of us, I thought. Yeah, yeah we're you threatened fucking to kill a pregnant here. woman, you let out a wolf, and I'm just the idiot. I put like a thousand of these guys in this prison, which I'm realizing as I'm saying oh, yeah. that I probably yeah. shouldn't fucking speak out loud. Absolute. And then one of them's like, <laughs> are you Slurm? No. The Inquisitor? No, that's someone else. I'm oh. Slorm. Oh, right. Okay. Just Slorm. <laughs> um, she, she's like, into that cell now. Get in the cell. All of us? Nah, bitch. And Snoo Snoo runs into the cell. Huh. Get into the cell. All right, let's get in the cell with Snoo eh. Snoo. We still got the keys. It's chill. We're getting All in the right, cell. All right, yeah, we still got the keys. Yeah. She follows you into the cell. She closes the door, and it snicks shut. Um, uh, it's a, It was an empty cell. It was like one that wasn't inhabited. And you go in, and Snoo Snoo's already like 
tearing at the pile of hay and exposes a trap door uh, that's made of like it, it, it blends into the rock it's made of rock uh, it's very thin and he lifts it up and you go in um, so uh, you enter the uh, like the level below um, which uh, is uh, like the, the storehouse of the, the prison and you see like there's barrels uh, and you smell food and all sorts of stuff down here um, and sort of around like down the hallway you see the silhouettes of a couple of guards um, and you um, and Helson's like now be very quiet we have to like we're walking down this hallway it's a T intersection you can see them down there we have to sneak past them Fucking quiet mm -hmm. to get through here, okay? Mm -hmm. So roll. Cursing seems mean. Shut up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we could have just dressed up like guards. French and fucking yeah. assholes. Right. <laughs> uh, so roll, roll a um, a uh, sneak. Twenty. Seventeen. Two. Hey, fuckers, <laughs> come at it! How much worse can she make this situation? Yeah. <laughs> you roll, roll How a does five. A you, all you had to roll was a five <laughs> because they're so far away. And you rolled a two. Okay, well he got he got a twenty, 20. and I got a seventeen. Why don't we just like kind of fade into the shadows? We wait for them to come after you. You're basically the bait now, <laughs> and let's take out those two guards and steal their outfits. Mm -hmm. Come at me, you bitches! Uh, Hellasent just <laughs> face palms. Mm -hmm. Snusu like goes back into the shadows, and uh, you're just like dancing in the corridor. So they come. They're like whoo. Oh, moo! And they come running down the uh, hallway mm. at you. All right, I want to tackle one and knock him out. Okay. Mm. Roll. I mean, I got a 20 to hide, but I got a 4 to attack, so. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you, uh, like, you run to tackle him, but you don't. Like, you, you like, so sure, you're, you're on either, so, <laughs> so, like, the hallway is coming this way, and you're both on either side uh, waiting to, like, jump out. Mm -hmm. And you totally mistime it. So you launch yourself across, and about three seconds pass, and then he just like sort of walks up to you and looks down at you. Uh, um, and then what do you do? I'm gonna trip the other one and then slam his head into the ground. Okay. With your density. 13. Yeah, uh, so you you trip him, you slam his head into the ground. He suffers uh, five damage, um, but he, and, and he's dazed, so he loses his next turn. Mm. The first guard gets up, uh, he just sort of walks up, and you're on the ground, and you're just still dancing, I guess. Uh, and he walks up and, um, he pulls out a cudgel and um, attacks you. Is that like a melon ball? All right. Uh, no, he attacks you first. Mm. So where's the, where's, oh, that matter. Just, mm. That's an 18. Uh, he bops you on the head. Um, <gasps> I can't roll to, to block? It's, no. With my hair? Mm -mm. No, no. <laughs> he, he hits you. It's 18. an 18. Uh, you suffer five damage. <laughs> Whoa! Damn. Yeah, you're, you're losing, you're, you are pissing people off and you're getting slapped and bonked. Dick, mm. it's ready to play! Um, <laughs> it is now Hellicent Tough Girl's turn. Tough oh, Girl's cool. turn. And uh, she lifts, like, she lifts the guard up, dashes his head against the side, cool. and then for good measure does it two more times and his head is a bloody Jesus. Cold. Yeah, Hellicent, you're uh, my yeah. girl. There's yeah, a cool mom. <laughs> uh, snoo Snoo, there's a dazed guard on the ground. Um, he walks up and has a shard of like really sharp slate uh, that he fashioned into a shiv, and he silently cuts his throat. Whoa! Damn, these guys are metal as shit. Whoa. He bleeds out onto the floor. And I'm the dude who tripped. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, you get up. I think um, we got ourselves some capable now? adventurers here. Uh -huh. Are we safe? You ever safe? think about working yeah, you're safe uh, now. Up I in kiss mountain range? Snoo Snoo mm -hmm. just for just to piss Hellison What Hellison are off. you doing? I kiss a Snoo. You saw what she just did I to that guy. Kiss at him. We need to get her a drink. She Luckily, me. <laughs> Snoo Snoo is like her eyes are a little bit blinded by chunks of blood and bone that she's wiping out, so she doesn't see that. But Snoo Snoo's like, no, 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 please no, 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 no. Ellison, uh, she's gonna de get us killed. <laughs> you don't um, happen to have any booze on you that you could give to her and maybe chill her out, do you? It's not You're in a alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol oh, makes, it makes it worse. It makes it worse. I don't. Oh. I can't oh, predict Lord. it. I don't know. Um, you're in a storeroom. It's just who I am. Just quirky like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she ushers you to um, like a, a big grate uh, that you can feel air coming out of. It's blowing, and she opens like she wrenches open the gate, and she's like, "In." Are there any weapons we can take with us? Uh, you see some like basically like bow staves, like shitty bow staffs. Mm. I'll take a bow staff. Right, you I'll take a bow staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get a bow staff. Right, everyone gets a bow staff. Oh, cool. Uh, all right, so you go into this uh, this in this grate, and you see 
uh, ahead of you, um, like in the distance, like 500 yards. It's a long tunnel, and there's a, a dim circle that's lit, moonlit, uh, like 500 yards away. But in between them, you hear and see giant whirring fans uh, that that uh, that you're going to have to time uh, your exit. There's three of them in a row. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you need to roll for dexterity. Mm, uh, oh and boy. tell me how you do this. 17. 17. 7. 1. A 1? 10. <laughs> 10. Uh, so. My hair is caught <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> makes it through. It's exactly what happens. Yo, karma. And your feels hair. Like karma. I just do a sweet cartwheel through it. <laughs> your hair gets caught in the fans, and it just, it all of it just gets ripped off, and you're basically scalped. Um, My sweet hair! You, you suffer an additional three damage. Oh, fuck. Just three? <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Stay at three. <laughs> You're bald. Sorry. You're bald and bleeding bald. right now. Oh my I'm bald. god. Ah! What if you see all Mike right that now? That was the first fan. <laughs> you have two more fans to go. Oh, two more? Uh, what, yeah. we have to roll for each fan? Yeah, dude! Mm -hmm. A 17 doesn't let me just cartwheel through all three of them? Actually, yeah, yeah, sure. You cartwheel through all three of them. Can I start? Growing my hair back. Yes, yeah, so you can start growing your All hair right. back. It's gonna be like body and bloody at the end, though. Oh man. Eight. Eight. You're fine. Oh god. Seventeen. You're fine. All right. Both of you roll one more. Nine. Yeah, you're good. Oh. Nine. Oh. You make it through. Whew. We did it. About time. Friend. All right. So uh, finally, you get to um, the end. Uh, there's like a big giant metal grate that's bolted. Um, Hellsent tries to wrench it free, but she can't. Um, who's your strongest? Giant seven probably foot tall well, actually, lizard. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. probably stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a strength. Give me a strength roll to try and wrench it off of its hinges. Four. Uh, <laughs> you you try and you fail. Ah, uh, good. Um, does anyone else want to try? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we could do the old fastball special again. Oh yeah. You yeah. Want me to spin you around and throw you at the. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. spin me around and throw me as hard as you can at the thing. I'll just curl into a ball and just cannonball right through it. Okay. I'm okay with this. Uh, you need to roll. Okay. 11. I was going to say 10 or above, yeah. Oh, all right. So you do it. Uh, you cannonball. Tight. <laughs> <laughs> Throw you. Yeah. <laughs> Please remember that later. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, you like, it doesn't like knock the grate out. You actually punch a hole through the grate. Cool. And everybody has to cl cl climb through. And you like sort of go tumbling down the hill a little bit. <laughs> and you go tumble, tumble, tumble down. And you realize that the grate is exits right by the pier where you were dropped off. And the boat is still sitting there. And it's it's been <clears throat> loaded up. It's been loaded up with uh, stores and stuff. Cool. Um, uh, I bet there's spice in there. Unfortunately, oh Warden Elvish is standing there. Let's kill his ass. Yeah. Guards. Let's fuck him up. Um, Let's fuck him. So, uh, you might have been able to sneak past him, but you came tumbling down the hill <laughs> and he turns around. And because he sees you tumbling down the hill, he has initiative on you. Um, oh, shit. So, Warden Elvish. Let's see. As I'm tumbling down the hill, I'm saying, Fuck <laughs> you, Warren Elvish. It's a long hill. It's a long hill. <laughs> uh, and as you're like, Warden Elvish, he casts uh, Trans Metro Gelatin on you. Whoa. Is that a band? What does that do? Uh, it encases you in a prison of gel for one turn, Whoa. and you have to roll to save at the beginning of your next turn. Okay. Uh, everyone else roll for everyone roll for initiative. Now you're going to be at the end of the initiative. Okay. Your turn. Two. Eight. Uh, you go first, then you. Um, so since he had initiative, he gets to go again. Mm -hmm. um, and the first thing he does is, uh, you guys, I assume, tumble out of the the pipe or mm -hmm. whatever, and like you have your bow staves, staves at the ready. Oh yeah, you drop yours when you were turned into a. Cannonball. You can't cannonball through there holding a bow staff. <laughs> you got caught. <laughs> but there are rocks right. on the ground or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, also, I'll if, if you're sneaky, you might. I mean, he's he's a mage of some sort. He might have items of power. Um. So he casts Hellblaze on you. Um. And let me see. One of these guys. Five. Uh, he misses. Oh boy. Uh, all right, so you had an eight, mm -hmm. so you get to go first. Oh, actually, I need to roll for um, Hellicent and uh, mine. There you go. Thank you. I need one more. Hellicent and Snoo Snoo. A seven and a three. Okay, so it's going to be you, Hellicent, Snoo Snoo, you. All right. I am going to. How close am I to him? I was a seven and a three. Mm -hmm. uh, you're at this point, like, you've all, like, run down, like, you're facing him on the pier. It's him and two guards. Um, and you're facing him on the pier. And you've grown back, let's, I mean, it's been f 
45 seconds or so. So you've grown back a good like 18 inches of hair. Okay. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna, wow. I'm gonna well, use. It's two feet a minute for five minutes. I think yeah. you yeah. said. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna use my momentum and jump high in the air and then go like this and try to get it around his throat. That is very detailed. You yeah. need to roll. 18 inches. Mm. Yeah. Is that enough? Yeah. You need to roll That's a, for a neck. 14 or above. <sighs> So many nat 20s in this game. Uh, wow. Uh, Did she decapitate it? <laughs> no, it'll do double damage though. Uh, so yes. you take a running start and you basically you clothesline him with your own hair uh, in the air. So he does um, like 17 flips. <laughs> so you land on top of him. He's gasping for breath. So he's prone. He misses his next turn. Oh, cool. um, and he's prone, so he's more susceptible to attacks. Hell yeah. Okay. If you guys want to kill him this round, just save the last blow for your old pal. Okay. That's um, yeah. And have he personal suffers. Business. <laughs> he suffers a solid. Uh, let's call it 18 of damage. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. Uh, Hellicent runs down the hill, uh, and she's got she's got her cudgel, her guard's cudgel, and she. Oh, I needed to roll for the fucking guards too. Sorry. Uh, oh, a 17 and a 20. They get to go first. The guards get to go first. So the guards. Mm. Your turn still stands with the guards. Um, attack Hellicent with, uh, they all have cudgels. Uh, a 20. Oh man. Uh, Hellicent <laughs> suffers 10 damage. Damn. Um, double damage. And then the other guard Hella. attacks 19. Oh my god. Uh, 5 damage. Hellicent is on bloodied. On death's which, door. No, she's not on death's door. She's Hellicent tough gal. Okay. Mm. <laughs> um, Damn. She's bloodied, which means that she's lower than half her health right now. But wow. She's she okay. got baby. Um, and I know. she's got a baby. Mm. Yeah, baby. Uh, Maybe she shouldn't be in active <laughs> combat. Snoo Snoo um, takes his his little uh, shard of slate and flicks it uh, at guard one. Ten, he hits um, guard one. Like it, uh, he loses a lot of blood. He's bloodied. Mm -hmm. um, guard two is still on his feet, and Warden Elvish is prone. Your turn. Okay, I want to <coughs> tackle one of the. Uh, guards, mm -hmm. and then have my tail flip up from behind me and stab him in the face. Oh, let's do it. In um, the face. In the which, face. which guard? The, uh, uh, the hurt guard or the not hurt guard? Not hurt guard. Okay. 16! 16. 16. Uh, <laughs> you do it. Um, <laughs> he suffers uh, five damage. Cool. Cool. Uh, I just want, I have to roll to get That's out badass. of this jello, right? Yeah, you have to roll. Um, oh, yeah, you have to roll 10 or, ten or above. Okay. Ooh, you stay out. in the jello, uh, <coughs> but do you have any? I mean, do you have any other abilities that might allow you to do anything while you're in the jello? Uh, I'm going to, with the power of my mind, pick up a handful of rocks and shoot them like bullets into the uh, asshole of <laughs> <laughs> Orden Elvish. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> roll, roll to do that. It, since since you're imprisoned, you're gonna have to roll a 15 or above. Oh. Ooh. 11. Damn. Damn. That would've been good, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, so there's kind of ding, 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 <laughs> like all around so him. So Warden Elvish is, he's in serious trouble. Like, I mean, you fucking did a number on him. Mm -hmm. Your turn. I'm gonna continue choking him out okay. with my hair. Right. I'm on top of him right now, like, Ugh. Yeah. This is, uh, this is what Mike got. Mm -hmm. Mike? Was he into it? Mike is gonna get worse okay. when I'm through with him. Or better, who knows? Four. Four. Uh, he, it, he doesn't do anything. Like he's, he's pretty much, the choking is done what it's going to do to him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, guard number one who is like been stabbed through the cheek, I guess. Mm -hmm. a, yeah, uh, tries to retaliate uh, with a cudgel to you, your face. Uh, you suffer four damage. Damn it. Um, guard number two. Uh, uh, attacks, I think, uh, Hellicent, uh, rolls an eight, doesn't hit, uh, and now it is Hellicent and uh, Snoo Snoo's turn. Uh, Hellicent attacks the damaged, the, both the guards are equally damaged, with a club, two, she misses. Snoo Snoo rolls with another flint, misses. Damn. Ooh. Uh, and now we're back up to you. Uh, oh, is that right? <laughs> no, 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 I'm at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm, at the oh. End. I'm at the end. Yeah, I'm going to just, uh, can I cut the guy's head off the, with my tail? Yeah, sure. Give it a shot. Just sitting there on top of him. Uh, uh, you don't cut his head off. Damn. You're just sitting there on top of him. Just kind of smacking him in the neck. With yeah, it. you're yeah. like, 
Your, your tail might not be as sharp as you thought it was. <laughs> it definitely went in his face, though. So it did go pretty... into his face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not it's not slicing bone yet. We'll get yeah. there. Uh, cut off. I think now, because he had the drop on you, it's the Inquisitor's turn. He was prone mm -hmm. last turn, but mm -hmm. now it is... Or, not the Inquisitor, Warden Elvish. Mm -hmm. oh. He gets up, and uh, he's sick of your bullshit, and he's going to cast Next Wave on you. Whoa, what is what that? Is that? Um, it is a 14. Uh, a spectral wave from the ocean uh, approaches, the sh uh, approaches the shore to push you off of the pier and into the ocean um, from the side, I guess, because physics. Mm -hmm. uh, so everyone roll, uh, roll, a ten uh, roll a d20. You're in prison, so I guess it doesn't affect you, because you're like, okay. Fine. Fine. You're both in the water. But okay. but luckily, oh, I need to roll for everybody else because it's indiscriminate. I've got Hellicent and the two guards. Can I get one more d20? I see. What is that one going to do to you? <laughs> You're having oh, no, some I'm real bad I'm luck. I'm almost dead. All right, one <laughs> of the guards is in the is in the water. The uh, Hellicent and Snoo Snoo and the other guard aren't in the water. Okay. Um, so now you're in the water. Your turn. Um, I... Um... How far away am I? Can I swim? Can I swim over? Yeah, yeah. You're just like you're just like right underneath the pier. Oh, okay. Uh, and it's been another like minute or so, so you've got like a solid like three or four feet of hair now. Can I toss that up? It's three or four feet. I mean, it's not it's not it's not like a rope yet. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna tie myself to the pier for now to keep myself from drifting away. <laughs> okay, if that's what you want to do. How can I, how should I attack? I would drown the other guard that's in the water with Oh us. yeah, he's with me. Okay, mm -hmm. I take my hair and I push him underwater with all the hair. Sure, roll. Tangle him in it? Tangle him. Like a net, a mm -hmm. sea net. Yeah, mm -hmm. like a sea net. Like the website. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six. No, you guys were rolling like, oh. it's either twenties <laughs> or like fours. <laughs> I've pretty much only gotten twenties or ones. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when do I get out of this jello, man? <laughs> oh, yeah, now uh, it is. Is it your turn now to roll? I feel like I got my turn skipped. Yeah, well, uh, no, well, you rolled last time and you missed your turn. You threw rocks at him. Oh, all right. Uh, it was Spricket, then, then the guards. Then the guards, mm. right. So one guard's in the ocean and he does for you what you tried to do for him okay. by drowning you. He hits 11. Um, you, you are forced underwater for a turn. Okay. But you don't suffer any damage. Okay. Um, the other guard is on the land and he attacks Hellicent again with a 12. He bops her on the head. She takes another five damage. Wow! Oh, yeah, Hellicent! No good. Uh, she's like one or two hits away. You guys, Jesus. she has a baby for Christ's sake. Uh, yeah. uh, Hellicent attacks him back. At 11, she hits him. He's, he's out. He's done. Yo, thank Do any God. of us have Christ. healing powers? Do you have healing powers? Uh, give it a try. Really? Yeah, I mean, okay. that's not really my bag. I'm not like a paladin or anything. Yeah. Just a spice guy. Well, I have very cool powers. They just aren't <laughs> healing powers. So, um, snoo -snoo. so it's Snoo Snoo's turn. Uh, one guard's down. Snoo Snoo, uh, in the absence of uh, anyone else to attack, attacks Warden Elvish. With a 10, he hits him. Uh, and Warden Elvish is like on death's door now. He's like, he flings another like shard of sharp rock at him. Cuts him across the eye, blood dripping down his eye. He's like, he's got like choke bruises on his, on his thing. He's struggling to breathe. He's like, ooh, can I finish him? Can I finish him? Oh, it is. Oh, I'm at the end. I'm at the end. Or is it your turn now? Because I you a rolled two. a two. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's your turn now. You have to right, roll. Roll to save. You have to roll a ten or above. Again? Yeah, man. Oh no, you're right. It was only one turn. You're yeah. Right. It's only one turn. All right. So you're, right. you're the. I'll tell you what I'm gonna roll for. Transmetro gelatin dissipates. Mm -hmm. I am going to wave my hands in the air, and all of the oars are going to come out. They're going to snap so that they're sharp, mm -hmm. and they're going to go. Cool. All into his body like pins. All of them? Yeah, fucking I'm just going to turn him into like a fucking pin cushion. All right, Dang. Do it. Yeah. Do it. And do every it. single one of them is going to have my name engraved do on it. Do it, Slorm. Slorm rolls a seven. No, that's so a one. That's a one. <laughs> that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> right, Storm, so here's what happens. Um, you, all the oars, all the oars raise, snap, and then like f missile bullets plunge into the boat, which is your means of escape. Oh, oh no! Uh, and then you hear a glug, 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 and then the entire thing just goes. Rrr. 
There was probably so much spice on that boat! <laughs> Your method of escape is gone now. Oh, cool. fuck! Uh, yeah. That would have been really sick if it had worked. It yeah. Would have been. It would have been. Now uh, we're all gonna die on this boat. Now prison. it is your turn. All right, I'll get the guard off of her to save her and then drown him. Okay. You don't. Four! <laughs> <laughs> cool, this is, I'm gonna play in the water then. Yeah. Um, all right, so now it's Warden Elvish's turn. He's weakened, uh, but he attempts to ta uh, cast um, a transmetric gelatin at you again. <laughs> what? He rolled a three, he doesn't do it. Oh, does it backfire or something? No, it doesn't, it, if one would have backfired, it just right. doesn't. I think he's busy you. laughing at you for ruining the boat. <laughs> <laughs> he's laughing and also like, oh god, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what happened to me? Um, <clears throat> that was his turn. Now it is the guard in, no, now it's your turn. Did my mic my oh, get right. skipped already? Yeah, you got skipped, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, no, no, it, you said you said skipped a turn. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you skipped a yeah. turn, yeah. so it's guard. So that is your skipped turn. Now mm -hmm. it's the guard's turn. He attempts to drown you again. Oof. You stay underwater for another turn, oh, and no. you, if you stay underwater for another turn, you lose, uh, you lose one hit point. Mm. Fuck, okay. Uh, Hellicent, um, uh, stumbles, uh, towards, uh, uh, Warden Elvish with her cudgel, and she's bloody, Hellicent, and he's why don't bloody. you just, like, take a step back and hide behind a rock or something? Mm -hmm. Hellicent, right, she hears that, and she's like, all right, she, she hears that, and so she goes to the edge of the pier to, like, to haul you out of the water. Okay. Ten. She she gets you out of the water. Like she yes. hauls you onto the pier. Mm. Cool. Uh, and then Snoo Snoo, taking a cue from her, uh, tries to haul up Sam or uh, uh, Glur Gerd Gerd Gerd, Gerd mm -hmm. uh, but doesn't. Doesn't. He's remember he's frail for an order. Yeah. All right, we're running a little bit long. We gotta mm. let's wrap this up. Let's we're try and actually roll some <laughs> some attacks here. All right, I got a good attack to finish him off. All right, yeah. All, All right, right. Uh, I'm going to go like this. And the ground underneath the warden is going to turn to quicksand and just suck him under and bury him alive. Okie dokie. You're pretty powerful. Cool. Mm. Yeah. I'm right. the goddamn warden mm. okay. of the hills and mountains. Mm. That's three. a three. Uh, the, the ground does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> kinda goes, it kind of goes like so. Yeah. Uh, your turn. You are in the water still. Yeah. And there's a guard still flailing around next to you. Hey, there's a guard, but I want to. Uh, you want to actually? Yeah, we're gonna save the elven king, elven warden for you. Yeah, I'll just fucking. Well, I mean, at this point, I've already had two shots at it. Mind I mean, if I go ahead and take yeah, a shot just, at him? Can I like jump out of the water? Water Let's like just free be done willy. With this. You can. You <laughs> can jump out of the water. I got the tail. You yeah. can jump out of the water, or you can like swipe at his ankles, but you can't do both. No. You can't attack. Oh, just, you can't jump out and attack. Ah, all right. I'll just kill the guard that's in the water with all me right. then. I'll just drown him and kind of stab him a few times or something. If nine. No. What the? Oh fuck? no! You guys. Go faster! Go faster! Yeah. In the water. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the warden is like, Jesus Christ! How am I still alive? <laughs> uh, casts. Oh, uh, trans transmit gelatin at you. He misses. He he hit a two. He missed. Um, and his feet feel a little sticky because like that was a pretty close to a botch. And so he's not stuck, but he's super immobile now. Uh -huh. He's a sitting duck. <laughs> get him. Now your turn again. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking get him. I'm gonna um, just punch him real good. You're, oh yeah, you're on the pier now. I'm yeah. on the pier. You're gonna punch just, a hole right through his I'm goddamn just, face. I'm just gonna fucking use all my elvish powers just to lay into him okay, right now. 17. Oh shit. All right, you rear back. <laughs> you get one of the uh, Looney Tunes style, and it's going so fast, and then you, you sock him across, and you see teeth, you hear teeth sp splat into the water, and he like wheels about twice on his heel, and then just like face face plants, like face first onto the pier. Cool! Yeah, um, fuck you! There's still a guard thrashing about in the water, but, um, uh, I mean, do you want to do anything with him? Do you want to take him hostage, or do you want to continue to Let's kill him? Let's see if he has any stuff on him. Or a boat, knows where the next oh, other yeah. boat is. We need a boat. <laughs> Yeah, unless I can plug the <laughs> unless I can plug the holes with my hair. Um, the guard's like, oh, save me, save me, save me! I'll uh, 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 if you're trying to escape. Um, uh, what you, what nobody told you is that Warden Elvish was also a smuggler. That's how he that's how he lived in such relative. Comfort He's probably got here. an even better ship with even more spice Whoa! on it. Um, there is a tiny rowboat that can barely hold anything that he used to smuggle things to, oh. uh, undetected to the shore. Um, that you are able. To, please don't kill me and uh, just leave me alone. And you can take that and I'll and I'll just I'll just tread water here. Just leave me alone. All right. All right we'll leave him. Do um, we trust him? Let's fucking yeah. kill him. 
I, mean, I think we already got enough attention from everybody. This guy is not yeah, going to make at our this case point, worse. At this point, you definitely, okay. like, the, the disturbance in the prison has ended from previously with the wolf shaman. They, it, like, and now guards are starting to maybe, like, what? You, you start to sort of notice, like, a little bit of activity at the prison. All right, let's get the all hell right, out of here while we get into it. Is there room for all of us on this boat? There's room for all of you and some stores. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, so, just to wrap things up real quick, you um, row for many days, it's hard but boring, so you don't talk about it ever again. <laughs> uh, you prefer to block it out of your memories. Uh, eventually, you land on the shore near an orc village. Uh, smoke arises from thatched roof cottages, and orcs go about their business, and Snusu says, this is my village, this is the most tolerant, open-minded orc village, and I made the mistake of getting caught outside of my village. Um, you know, as a small, weak orc, I was, uh, mm -hmm. I was, I was... I'm caught up in things that were too terrible to mention, and I got sent to prison. Here they will accept me and Hellicent Tough Gal. Um, they thank you. And uh, you learn that Snoo Snoo, as an intelligent orc, is actually sort of the leader of this area. So uh, they offer you um, uh, creatures uh, to fly wherever, so, wheresoever you wish. Um, these creatures are called winged snug fuzzlies. Oh! oh. Uh, winged snug fuzzlies are leathery, scaled, talon, toothy, bad temper, flying fuck faces. Cool. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and like they're 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 the worst. Uh, the only thing that makes them behave is kitten blood. Um, but luckily, the orc village has a little pen of kittens that they use to keep the snug, fuzz, snug fuzzlies subdued. So they give you each a snug fuzzly oh. and a sack of <laughs> writhing kittens, like, and they're adorable. Like, <laughs> meow, meow. And they're like, they're like calico kittens and black. They don't and white have kittens. horses or anything. No, all they've got is these like leathery, like uh, lizard bat fuck assholes uh, <laughs> with like teeth and talons and like red eyes and like venom and horns and shit. And spikes, uh, and so they give I you. I feed all of my kittens all to, at once. Yeah. At once, <laughs> all, kill the all thing. them to my snug fuzzly just to get in his good graces. Oh, he's like, yeah. he like cuddles <laughs> up next to you, like dripping kitten blood and whiskers, and like my friend now. Uh, like a, a paw is dangling out of his mouth. <laughs> uh, cool. Gord is unhappy. <laughs> what do you What do you do? Where do we go? Where do we go? I mean, we don't have any weapons. We're like pretty like. Hurt. Yeah. Should we go to a store or something? I guess we you're, don't have you're any like money. A, you're basically like an orc village. It's like there's no, there's not really a store or anything. Like you've got some food. You each have currently a sack of kittens and two angry snug fuzzlies. You've got a happy snug fuzzly who like loves you. Mm -hmm. I throw a couple kittens into the mouth of my snug fuzzly. He's like, come, come. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna look. And I'm just gonna dangle the bag behind me towards mine, and it the bag disappears. So I and turn. you draw your hand back, and it's a little bloody. Yeah, <laughs> I'm keeping. Blood. I'm gonna keep but one for myself. But then it comes and snuggles me, <laughs> and it and it comes and like it's like it's got scales, and you've got scales, and it feels like. So right. <sighs> you're an evil fucking animal, but like, you're just an animal. And is I there a love connection you. happening here? Uh, yeah. no, I don't know. It's kind of you know, nice um, shape. I want to get my <laughs> hat back. Congratulations, you have escaped from Orcatraz, uh, and you have at your disposal winged beasts of terror um, who now love you, um, pretty much. You've still got some kittens left, uh, mm -hmm. so you might want to you know, hang on to those. Um, In case these boys get hungry. Uh, where do you guys, I mean, do you want to go back to set things to right, or? I want to get our stuff back. What about you guys? Yeah, let's I think we're going to need to enlist some help. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know, man. We've been kind of shit-talked after the evil magic man. Yeah, but we're all the wardens yeah, of our yeah. own places. Like, what if we went back to our, uh, our keeps and got our most trusted warriors enlisted it's... in the battle? I I'm my most room. trusted warrior. Well, we'll go to your place, then. Or mm -hmm. we could just go get our weapons back and kill that motherfucker. Yeah, let's do that. Right. Capital city, then. So you fly back to, to Iridel, uh to Garrett's rest, uh, and do you fly back into the city, or do you try and sneak in sneak as wanted criminals? Sneak in. I mean, I think with these monstrous beasts, uh -huh. we should we just go sneak? like straight to the yeah, keep. Yeah, hell's a blazing. Yeah. Bells a blazing. I don't know. The, Hell's you're bells. the dude who's strung out on uh, spice. And he does not. Oh yeah, we should get some spice first. Yeah, he's not even, I don't he's know about reminded decision him making. he doesn't have any spice. <laughs> Way to go, Gord. So you park your snug fuzzlies outside the city and you tell them to stay because you've got a bond with them, I mm -hmm. assume. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll leave it at there. You're plotting about how to get spice and your stuff back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And set things to right, I would hope. There you go. Yeah, sure. Stuff first. And then Mike. 
second. Oh, and then <laughs> setting to rightness. Uh, and all then right. Take a shower. Um, Maybe take oh, a yeah. shower. We're oh, probably yeah. We probably in smell shit. terrible. This is a super long episode. That's my fault. I'll, I'll make these a little bit shorter next time. But thank you for watching. Cheerio, Cheerio old old mates. mates. And have a another round, round as buddies and pals. pals. Be sure to go to our subreddit to uh, leave us comments and suggestions on uh, uh, Sorcerer Fed. And fan art. We want your fan art. Uh, hopefully, starting next episode, we'll be able to show off some. We show off fan art. Oh, stuff. yeah. Yeah. You guys are real talented. Mm -hmm. So we'll have some hopefully next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye. 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 My tail is razor sharp, and if it gets cut off, it grows back twice as sharp. And this is infinite. It could cut right through uh, reality or time itself. But which I really hope that goes into the game. But wow, wow, wow. My weakness is stage fright. <laughs> as well uh, as there we go. Dark magic, uh, yeah. which leads to severe urination, <laughs> which could scare off predators. I'm not a big fan oh, of we'll dark see. magic either, so I think we'll get along fine. All right.